No, it was pretty good at mixing the, uh, like, like Japanese pop culture with like, uh, like design and kind of you know, just all different aspects. Of it. I think, and with like his own unique style, he's not necessarily like he kind of has his own like Obi character style. Right. I, I especially like Obi's um, I don't know, like some of the cleanness and the crispness of like his more graphic design sensibility. Like the uh, some of the typography work, some of the vector based like design and stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's on his paintings. Well, it's, it's kind of funny too. He actually knows a lot about like the, like, the American art scene, and, like, basically you know, the art scene in general. And it's just kind of a lot of Japanese artists have a different take on contemporary art, like, or even like you know, like the modern art scene. So I've at least seen. Francisco and stuff like that. He has a pretty good, like, you know, where he fits in it too, you know. Sure. And he's pretty vocal about, um, and opinionated about art stuff, so it's, which is kind of rare for, especially for him, because he's like kind of quiet and right. definitely kind of shy and stuff like that. But. I think what's pretty uh, interesting about Ogi is that uh, he's treading a very thin line between commercial art break into more of a fine art, more Kami-esque type stuff. Yeah, he's a pro. Just showed um, at Receiver Gallery, he had a show named My Life Is Your Problem. There's numerous ways you can choose to earn fun. Some get shot, locked down, and turn guns. Cowardly hearts and straight up shook.